what is up everyone Xander here and today I'm going to be showing you how you can get a modded play store now how the modded play store essentially works is when you buy a paid app and you refund it the app stays in your phone so it doesn't get uninstalled automatically and you still get the updates directly from the play store so what you're gonna need for this is a rooted phone um, lucky patcher which I'll be showing you busy box which I'll also be showing you and a credit card now I'll show I'm gonna be telling you why you're gonna need a credit card later but for now just bear with me so first what you're gonna do is go to the Play Store and once you're in the Play Store you're gonna look for busy box and you're going to click on the first one. I already have it installed so you guys just have to install it. It's totally free so yeah. Now once you have it installed you're going to go and open it and exit that and it's going to give you this right here the gathering information. You don't have to I mean actually no it's going to tell you it's installing it's a smart installing that's what it is but if you don't want to um, do that you can just press the install button right here and it'll install BusyBox for you. Now, that's basically what you need for BusyBox. Now, what you're going to do next is go on your browser and you're going to go to there's going to be two links in the description. There's going to be this one, lucky-patcher.netboo.com and this one luckypatcher.net. Now, I'm assuming this is the official Lucky Patcher site, but both work. You can get Lucky Patcher from either site. So, if you chose this link, you're going to be brought here. So what you're going to do is press download, and you're going to be given this. And you're going to press download original Lucky Patcher. And then you're going to get the add fly thing. So you're going to wait. Skip add. And you're going to be brought to this. Now, I'm, I'm assuming you can download the modded Play Store from here. But I prefer the Lucky Patcher method more because it'll install it as a system app rather than a user app. So once you're here, you're going to download the latest version, which at the point of this video would be 5.9.4. You're going to download that and install Okay, now once you reach this website, you're going to be seeing this. Now, the first thing you should notice is this purple download Lucky Patcher button. Do not press that one, because that one doesn't really work. It just makes you do um, offers in order to bypass the page. What you're going to do is scroll down and press the green one. And then you'll, you'll be given an ad. All you have to do is close out that tab and come back. And you'll either automatically download or ask if you want to download it. Lucky Patcher. Um, but yeah. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to do it again. Then you're going to go open it. It's going to press, it's going to um, say this. So you're going to have to wait a bit. And then it's going to show you this. Um, what you're going to do next is go to Toolbox. Press Install Modded Play Store. And you can install it as a user app if you want to, but I prefer it as a... Oh, there's an update. I'll do it later. But... Um, I prefer it as a system app. So you're going to choose the latest version, which at the point of this video is 5.12.10. And you're going to press install. And you're going to brought, be brought to this download screen. And you're going to wait for it to download. Now, once it's done, it's going to automatically um, restart. So I'll be back when it restarts. I am back, and the Play Store has successfully been installed. Um. Another thing I want to show you is another method which you can use to install the Play Store, which is when you get to this page, like I showed you before, you can download the APK right here, and I'm not sure if you can replace the system app Google Play, but what I did was I uninstalled the Google Play Store, downloaded the APK, and then installed that APK. And then once I did that, I downloaded an app called System App Remover. And 
once it loads the app, you can look for Google Play. I already did it, but if you go to the G section, you'll see Google Play. And when you tap on it, it'll ask you if you want to convert the app to a system app. You press OK. And it'll ask you to restart your phone, which you're going to have to do for it to take effect. And then you'll have the Google Play installed. That's probably the easier method, but I prefer the Lucky Patcher method because I know it'll definitely install my Google Play. But if for some reason you install, I mean, you try to install Google Play with Lucky Patcher, and it says that the storage, like you're low on storage, um, you can just do the second step, which was to install the APK. Because sometimes that happens for some reason, even if you have enough storage to download the um, Google Play Store. Alright, now that you have the Google Play installed, you can just open it. Okay, so I'm going to show you how this essentially works. Make sure you have a credit card or a PayPal, pa pa PayPal in your account before doing this or else it won't work. Alright, so say I wanted to download Game Dev Story. What I would do first would be to buy it. And then let it install. And then once the app is installed, what you're going to do is press refund. And as you can see, the app still is installed in your device. So that's pretty much all you do. You can do this with any paid app off of the Play Store. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it or found this useful.